I, I don't think that any week of the season so far, excuse me for the camera here, I don't think that any week of the season so far has surprised me any more than this one here. This week in the NFL, week 8, as we wrap it up here, was absolutely insane with the way some of these games ended. Let's go with, let's go start with Thursday. This is one of the biggest games of the week in all honesty. You got the Packers and the Cardinals. Now, the Cardinals, they did not look particularly great in this game. You know, the Packers were using ball control. They couldn't, you know, this is the type of thing, you know, that, that I really noticed was that the Packers were keeping the, the cards off the field like Kyler Murray and company could not get anything going and when they finally got something going when it finally seemed like you know things were going in the Cardinals favor AJ Green decides to not turn around and look for the football thus causing an interception the Packers win we have no unbeatens left so the 72 Dolphins can clap you know the remaining 72 Dolphins anyway can clap in knowing that they are still the only unbeaten NFL team ever to win a ring to win a Super Bowl at least because I know there's unbeaten teams in like 1920 and stuff like that but that doesn't matter we're talking about the Super Bowl era you know anyway um, Panthers, Falcons, really nothing to say here. Panthers get back on track. You know, they win against the Falcons. Um, so there's nothing really to say there. Bills take care of the Dolphins. Nothing really to say there. You know, Dolphins, you know, there's still the whole trade bait thing with Tua going on. I think that might be affecting the whole team. In all honesty, the Dolphins just not a good team this year. Um, Titans, Colts, however, went to overtime. Titans did get the victory, but the cost... The cost may be Derrick Henry. It looks like Derrick Henry's season is over. Huge injury, you know. At least six to ten weeks, I believe. I believe the I believe the um the news just came out this afternoon. You know, it, I mean Henry's season could be over. I mean, you know, again, you know, Colts bungled this mess up. They really messed things up. You know. Wentz had two turn. Wentz had two picks. Tannehill had two picks too. You know, this was this was an interesting game. I only saw the ending portions of it, in which Carson Wentz threw a bad pick, or rather, make or rather, the Colts made a bad play. Titans were able to, you know, get on it, recover, and get the victory. Get out of Lucas Oil Stadium. Bengals Jets was probably the most surprising thing. Cause remember, Zach Wilson got hurt. So who came in? Who came in? Mike White. Mike White threw for 400 yards. 400 yards. Bengals could tackle. Bengals could do anything. You know, the Bengals, you know, had this game wrapped up and the Jets said, nah, -uh. we're going to take this game. 17 points by the Jets in the fourth quarter. Now the Bengals just could not stop this man. How do you let a backup quarterback, you know, like this? Who I don't think any has anybody heard of Mike White? Has anybody heard of this man? Anybody? Anybody at all? Has anybody heard of this man? At all? I'm telling you, has anybody heard of this man at all? Who is this man? Who is this man? I don't even remember where this man came from. It, I, I, I really don't. Where did he come from? I really don't know because I don't see anything. Where did he go to college at? Where did he go to college? He went to Western Kentucky. I'll just, I looked this up just now. Wait, the Cowboys selected him? <laughs> that's, how, that's how little I don't remember. I don't remember this at all. Who, who was this man? I, I don't get it. We'll talk about another thing that I didn't get later, you know, but, um, wow. Like, the Bengals had a performance like that against the Ravens and that they choke against the Jets. Shows you that anything can happen in the NFL. Shows you that anything can happen. 
Now, the Steelers-Browns game was dominated by T.J. Watt and Miles Garrett. The ineptitude of the Steelers and the ineptitude of the Browns really showcased themselves. You know, Chris Boswell got himself hurt in this game because of a practically really stupid decision to go for a um, to go for I believe it was either a two point conversion or a fourth down or whatever they just no it was fourth down they went for it for some reason and just didn't kick the points they would Steelers would have had the lead by you know like late into the second half you know already you know if they just kicked the field goal, because I mean they got the ball back, they scored a touchdown in the third. We're talking about the third quarter here. They got the ball, scored a touchdown, third, and everything you know went easy peasy. But this game was just rough to watch. You know, honesty. I mean, it was a game that you know did not feature too much going on in it. It was just a comedy of errors by both teams. A comedy of errors in which. Uh, I genuinely don't know how I made it through this game. I do not know because this was this was just you know the Browns messed up at the end too. You know, I mean they were making terrible plays and stuff like that. There were penalties and stuff everywhere. I mean this was just a rough game to watch. In all honesty, Lions are still winless, so you know it is what it is there. Um, Eagles take care of business, 44 to six. Rams. I know people are gonna be mad about the spread, but I mean, you know, Rams beat the Texans. It is what it is there. 49ers get back at the wood column, 33-22 there. I'm really surprised that the Patriots beat the Chargers. You know, I think the Patriots are 500 now. Yeah, because um. Herbert threw two bad interceptions, including one at the end of the game, too. It's bad interception, you know. Seahawks take care of the Jags. You know, Geno Smith gets the win column. How about that? But then, but then, Buck Saints. Oh, my goodness. Tom Brady and those Bucks. And guess what happened in this game, man? Jameis Winston got hurt. His ACL, he, he's, and a little bit of his MCL too, I believe. Yeah, he's done for the season. So guess who comes in? Trevor Simeon. I didn't even know this man was still in the league. I really didn't. I didn't know at all. Like, this was crazy stuff. You got Brady just doing all sorts of different things on the field. You got Trevor Simeon out here doing good stuff. I mean, he led the offense majestically, especially with a huge drive late in which he threw a touchdown. And Brady got picked off twice, including once to end the game. And I don't know where, like, P.J. Williams got that last interception late to seal the game up. And I don't know where in the world Brady was throwing it. But them old man eyes certainly starting to see Tom. Because, I mean, at times it felt like, you know, the Saints were getting more penetration through that Bucks defense. And other Bucks defense is still very, very good. But that's a battered defense, too. You know, just been battered throughout the season. I mean... Uh, I thought at first that the Saints were going to run away with this game because, I mean, they were up early. You know, when I finally was able to tune in after seeing, you know, a, conse a consecutive, you know, Titans, Colts going into overtime and the Jets, you know, meeting the Bengals. So I finally was able to get to this game. And all I see is that the Saints are starting to kick the Bucks' asses. And I, I was like, okay, okay. And it, of course, you know, the Bucks made it a game, but at, at the end of the day, Trevor Simeon could be leading the Saints for the rest of the year. Saints are 5-2. and two. Like, I did not expect this team to be 5-2 and two at this point. I, I, I really expected the Bucks to beat the Saints down, you know, beat them into nothing. Um, Broncos, um, Washington football team, there's really nothing to say here except today, the Broncos said it. Let's get some let's get some picks. Let's get some first and second round picks and stuff like that. And they sent Bon Miller over to the Rams. Do you know how terrifying that is? You got Aaron Donald, you got Jalen Ramsey, and now Von Miller on the Rams defense. Couple of fact other guys too. I mean, that's unfair. 
that's unfair. That's really, really unfair. Why would you do that, Broncos? Why? I mean, at least washed and lost. That's good, right? I'm still waiting for the NFL to, you know, just say it. Just come out and say it. Just start suspending guys from the Washington football team. You know, suspending team owners. Oh, well, we didn't find anything. There was nothing wrong with the Washington football team. There's nothing wrong at all. Start, start suspending people, please, from the Washington football team. That team doesn't deserve anything. But I'll tell you who deserves something. How about them Cowboys, baby? How about Cooper Rush? Who boy. Dak could not play in this game, unfortunately. It really is a shame that he couldn't play, but it is what it is. And when the going got tough, you know, Kirk Cousins couldn't get it done again. Like, this game's really, really tough to watch. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i I'm sitting here, you know, I'm thinking the Vikings are going to run all over us and everything like that. You know, run all over the Cowboys, excuse me. Um, you know, trying to hide my bias here. I thought the, thought the Cowboys were going to get ran over by Dalvin Cook and everything. But I, mean, the, but, I mean, the Vikings just couldn't sustain anything really on offense. Cooper rushed through for 325 yards. And that last drive was a thing of beauty. You know, Amari Cooper catch. Beautiful. A Zeke run, which Zeke didn't even have to get, you know, he didn't have to get the first down like that. But he was heavy stomped all over the Vikings defense. Just made a huge, huge gain when we didn't need that much, you know, to, to maybe tie the game or at least win the game early. Or, excuse me, tie the game. And then, you know, Cooper Rush's last touchdown throw, you know, that touchdown throw he had to Amari Cooper. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. I mean, you know, you know them boys, you know them boys receivers, you know, and Cedric Wilson, you know, also balled out a huge touchdown by him late in, um, late in this game as well, you know. I mean, this was just a fun game because, I mean, you know, you know, I mean, man, what a game it was. What a game it was. A huge victory for the Cowboys. It's a shame that the Vikings, you know, had to lose this game. But, I mean, the Vikings just never could get the momentum they needed in this game. You know, it felt like the Vikings, you know, were going to have their way with Dallas at first. But as soon as, thing, as soon as the third quarter started, you know, as soon as things finally started to click, Cooper Rush getting comfortable, you know, Things just started to click for the Cowboys. It it just it just happened. Like, yeah. And the Giants, they just lost to the Chiefs. In fact, that game just finished up here. You know, I, I really don't know what to say here because I mean there's really nothing here that I can say is just like wow. This was this was a game, you know, that this is a game that happened, you know. Harrison Butker got the game with a field goal, but I mean, that's it. That's it. I mean, you know, I mean, the Chiefs aren't particularly good. They're four and four. They're back to five hundred at least. There's nothing really for me to talk about there. There's nothing really for me to talk about. I mean, the Giants had some mistakes, obviously, because it's the Giants. But you know, the Chiefs, and they they still have a lot of things to work on. You know, match Patrick Mahomes. He's he's definitely not himself. You know that. The, the eventual Madden core, the eventual Madden curse will get to him. The eventual Madden curse will get to him. Signing all for all that money is starting to get to him, and it's and the behind the scenes antics, you know, with his family is starting to get to him too. Obviously, because I mean he just hasn't played very well this year at all. But the Chiefs get the win, and now the NFL, you know, is looking, you know, it's looking a little bit, it's looking a little bit more interesting now. You know, there's a lot of teams that are at 500 now. You know, now we can start talking about these games with more gusto. You know, now because things are starting to get a little bit more solidified. Week 9, week 9 is going to be a good one. I can tell you that right now. Oh, boy. Because there's a lot of storylines that are going to be happening here, you know, with week 9 and how things are going to play out with these games, man. 
So that's it. That's all I have for y'all this NFL week wrap up week eight. Uh, college football playoff rankings will be coming tomorrow night, and my preview video will be up at it will be up around this time. So instead of Wednesday night, it will be up around this time. Instead, that that's what I want to do now. I think I've solid. I think I solidified that I said that yesterday. Uh, so if you did catch the channel update video, um, it went it went public this yeah it went public this afternoon. Excuse me, not yesterday. It went public this afternoon. Technically, it got published yesterday, but it went public this afternoon. So go ahead and you know take a gander at that to see what's going on there. Check the other videos out, you know, just did an, an indoor arena update to, you know, start up. And I, know, I don't know I released that video on Halloween, but I mean, I had to get it. I had to get it out sometime because, I mean, this week's going to be busy. So, that's it, everybody. Y'all take care. Have a good night. I'll see you all tomorrow around the same time, same channel, same crazy and now well same crazy reactions because I, don't, I, don't, I really don't know what's going on man like this week of backups in the nfl man this week of backups really really surprised me man <laughs>